Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. How would you like to be able to cart four times and still not fail a quest? That dream is now a reality. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock all the ingredients in Iceborne to get the Feline Safeguard Meal skill, which has the same effect as insurance, and if someone on your team has the one and you have the other, they do stack. In this video, I'm also going to be showing you how to unlock the meals for the Feline Zoo Master, which makes rare endemic life more likely to appear. So all 12 of these ingredients are tied to the new chef in Celiana. First, let's take a look at all the different effects that we get from each of the two new paths. This is the first one, which is the preparation skills. If you use two of these ingredients in a meal, you'll get the Feline Cleat, which allows normal movement even in special terrain, the Tailor, which shortens the cooldown period for specialized tools, and of course, the Safeguard. And the second series which we're looking at, which is the Trailblazer. If you use two of these ingredients in a meal, you might get the Feline Gardener, which reduces the time before certain endemic life appears, the Scavenger, which allows you to get Slinger ammo uh, when you catch certain endemic life, and of course the Zoo Master, which I assume everybody wants. In order to unlock the first two ingredients here on the top one, all we have to do is talk to the chef in Celiana, and she'll give you a quest to capture a Bonbaro. This is only an MR1, so it should be easy to take on. Go ahead and clear that quest and I'll unlock those two ingredients. For the bottom two, it's similar. Once you clear that quest, she'll give you a new one, which is to capture a Nightshade Paolumu, which is an MR2 star quest. The next three items on the top here are all tied to the same item, which is the Butterbur. This is a special type of plant that you can find in the Horfrost Reach up at the top of the mountain. If you grab the normal one, it unlocks this material. If you get the rare one, it unlocks this material. And then there's a special rare, which you can only get when the map says that there is a locale info of flourishing for Butterbur. So we're going to go ahead and show you where the location of Butterbur is during the flourish, so you can see where all three of them are found. Now I showed this the other day, but I'm going to sort of fix some of my mistakes here. Um, but once you get to area 13, you can actually get all the way up here using the wedge beetles. Uh, and this is how you get to the top of the mountain. If you do find the Grimalkins here, make sure that you friend them. Just because you do get some experience points uh, each time that you friend them. So go ahead and do that. <laughs> uh, first part here is the parkour jump. What you want to do is run up the wall. Once you get to the top, you'll jump to the other end and press B and you can jump to the left towards the ice. Get up to the top and you can press B again and you can jump. When I say B, I also mean circle, I think, for PlayStation 4. Then this one is a rather straightforward uh, parkour jump. A wedge beetle will get you over this cliff. This next area, you don't actually need a mantle. You just need to stand in the middle of this crevice. Once you get to the middle of the crevice and it blows, it will knock you all the way up. Once we get up here, this is where the Butterbur is. Now, if you're lucky and you get the rare butter burr, which is like that special animation, then you'll be able to unlock both ingredients in one shot. This time I only got the normal butter burr and I got the special rare, so I'm not showing you it. Uh, so it might take more than one try. Go ahead and collect this. Now you can get the rare one without it being a flourish, so don't worry about that. The flourish unlocks this special point right here, which is pretty much like a guaranteed special rare. <laughs> I love that animation. Here we go, it's called the Snow White. Once you come back from the investigation, it'll automatically unlock the ingredient if you capture that item. Let's go to the bottom row, which are all tied to these ice blooms. This works the exact same way. Here's what you unlock for the normal one. If you get the rare one, you'll unlock the second ingredient. And if you wait for a flourishing moment, you'll be able to get the special rare. So make sure you look for locale info, flourishing, frozen foliage. Go to the camp over at area five, jump down and go to the right. And in this kind of pathway, there is a crevice on the left-hand side that we can get in, which has the spots that we need. It's also where you often can find the endemic life researcher. So let's go ahead and go in here. <laughs> I don't know why there's a penguin just standing there, so maybe it wants to be my pet. So we're gonna go ahead and stop for a second and grab it, because why not? It's a penguin, right? <laughs> You're coming home with me, buddy. And here are the frozen foliage. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Now I did get the rare one here so you can see both of them. That's the normal. This is the rare. Bing! So there's the Snow Peak Ice Bloom. Um, but the special rare is down. It's the third one. So I'm not going to skip ahead because it'll get confusing. This is the second one. It's just another area where you can get normal and rare ones. Sort of just like the Butterbur's up at top of the mountain. And then when we go down here to the right, it's going to be the special spot for the Flourish. And if we do this one, we'll get the special rare. Ooh! And that is the Petal Crist. 
Once we have those done, we only have two more ingredients to go. This last one is easy, it's just a delivery quest. So you'll have to go over to the delivery area and give a twisted stout bone from a Diablos. So you will have to hunt it if you haven't already. And that gives you the full top row so you can get that extra insurance. And for the bottom one, you do get a final quest from her called Simmer and Slice in which she doesn't care about the beef between Glavinus and Rathian. She just wants them both dead so that she can be in peace. <laughs> So once you go and you clear this quest, it'll unlock that final ingredient so you can have that Zoo Master. Anyways, these are two absolute killer skills. Do go and sort of register them as a custom meal so you can call them up on demand. I haven't tested it myself, but I do know that if someone else on your party has insurance and you have safeguard, they do stack and you can card up to four times and not fail the quest. I'm not sure how it works if you have activated them both yourself, uh, but let me know down in the comments below if you try it out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck getting these ingredients. Until next time, happy carding, but it doesn't count. <laughs>